Batch Customer Invoice A batch invoice is a quick and easy way to post a sales invoice transaction against a customer. This type of invoice does not affect stock, nor can the invoice be printed or emailed. A batch invoice is typically used if you're creating your invoices outside of Sage 50 accounts. Let's look at this now. From the Customers module, click Batch Invoice. The Batch Customer Invoice window opens. An asterisk next to a column heading indicates data must be entered in the box. From the A slash C drop down, select the required customer, then click OK. If no customer record exists, to create a new one on the fly, click New. Alternatively, use the search box to help you find the customer instead. For example, if I enter Peter then click Search, any customer records containing the word Peter appear here. Once selected, some of the boxes are automatically populated. The date box is populated with the current program date. This can be changed if required. If you're entering several invoices for a different date, the default program date can be changed from settings, change program date. Once the date is selected, the due on date is populated based on the payment due days set in the customer record. In this example, invoice payment is due 15 days after the invoice date, calculating the due on date as 16th of December. This can also be changed if required. In the ref box, enter the required invoice number. You have up to 30 alphanumeric characters. In the XREF box, enter any additional reference you may hold for the invoice. For example, the customer's order number. Again, you have up to 30 alphanumeric characters. The N slash C box is populated with the default nominal code applied in the customer record. To change this, click the drop down and select a different nominal code. The department box is also populated with the default department applied in the customer record. To change this, click the drop down and select a different department. The project ref box appears only in Sage 50 Accounts Professional. To assign a project to the invoice, click the drop down and select the required project. In the details box, enter a description for the items sold. Alternatively, enter generic text. For example, goods. You have up to 60 alpha numeric characters. In the net box, enter the net value of the invoice, then press either the tab or enter key. The T slash C box is populated with the default tax code applied in the customer record. This can be changed if required. In this example, the default tax code is T1, 20%. If the goods being sold are exempt from tax, this can be changed to T2, exempt. Please note, if you are not VAT registered, enter the gross invoice amount in the net box and change the tax code to T9. The VAT box is automatically calculated based on the net amount and tax code selected. In certain circumstances, the VAT value may need to be adjusted. For example, if you've produced your invoice elsewhere, when entering the invoice in Sage, you may find a difference in the VAT values due to rounding. The gross box is automatically calculated based on the net amount and VAT amount. To amend the gross value, either the net, tax code, or VAT boxes must be changed. For example, for an invoice for £1,000, including VAT, rather than £1,000 plus VAT, calculate the net and VAT split by entering the gross value in the net box. Then from the toolbar, select Calculate Net or press the F9 function key. The net, VAT and gross amounts are then changed accordingly. We'll look at the final four columns in a separate video. 
For now, our first customer invoice is complete. To save the invoice, click Save. Alternatively, further invoices can be created within the window. Once you're happy, click Save. To close the batch customer invoice window, click Close.